Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christmas in September, hosted by Moira O'Reilly. Plus, it is also Scrap Timber, hosted by the Scrappy Sisters. And the prompt for today is Christmas, and since it's Christmas in September, both done. I'm going to scrap those three photos, and I use the edges of that film strip from Tim Holtz on the sides of that, but I did uh, put the photos on black paper first. And I'm going to use that um, Christmas tree light set from Spellbinders. And then uh, several, well, I'm going to use the poinsettia and some leaves out of the festive foliage from Diamond Press. And I have these uh, paper house stickers for um, the Polar Express. And <laughs> my mind went blank for a second there. But I remembered. Um, I ended up doing this layout completely different from what I had planned to start. I was going to put the uh, title over on the other side. And then when I was putting the uh, letters on the wax paper, I got to thinking I might like it better on the right. So I went ahead and put them straight on the left-hand side. Although I did put it up against it on the right hand side and changed my mind on the left hand side, left hand side <laughs> and changed my mind. And these tickets pretty much can only go on the right side because yeah, you know, the train is going towards the right and so I couldn't put them on the left side for sure. And have them coming out from behind the photos. I did layer the Polar Express twice. Oh, and I didn't get that die out. It is a Tim Holtz die. I can't remember the name of it, but it is a Tim Holtz die. I die cut out, besides the flowers, some pine branches and some holly leaf branches so that I could use them on the layout. There is a bigger one to go beneath the top layer of the poinsettia but I only used one size I didn't think I really had room and that was a very last minute decision on that uh, where the placement of that poinsettia was but it was to cover up somebody's elbow I didn't really look at the photos for I printed them and I thought do I want to print it again edit it out and print it again and I decided I could cover it up with something. So the poinsettia got there. I love, love, love my Spellbinder die for the Christmas tree lights. I use it every year for Christmas. And I probably would like to even use it more if I thought of it more. Uh, I forget about it because it is in the little packaging all by itself. Although I cut out a gazillion lights one time. Well, I was watching TV, and I don't think I'll run out for a few years. <laughs> uh, but I wanted only blue colors in this, because if you look on the top photo, you can see the garland of Christmas lights, which are blue. And, of course, the garland is blue, too. It looks pretty blue in the picture. I wanted to use a sign. That package comes with two of everything. Uh, well, I'll still have one for another layout. And it says North Pole, gift wrap Paul, the Polar Express, and North Pole Square. And, yeah, I thought it was pretty cute and I wanted to use it. I did use cardstock beneath it and the Believe, and I will be using some cardstock underneath that bell up there. Because they're kind of thin stickers. They're not very thick. However, they do have... A paperback that will peel off, which I noticed fairly quickly when my ticket stuck to the paper and pulled up that piece that was behind it, the release paper. And so I added cardstock so that uh, you wouldn't see the dip so much. It being as thin as they are, I figured you'd see the uh, impressions of the film strip and photo. I Oh, I am cutting this uh, light one apart. I thought, well, it's big enough. It, it's big enough that I can cut it, but it's not big enough to stretch underneath the poinsettia to go all the way over to the right. So it is getting cut in half and put on there that way. 
And I did ink all those blues before and the poinsettia before I started the video after I cut them all out. And uh, so I didn't have to do it while I was doing the video. I'm intertwining my Christmas lights in this bell. And those embellishments are so cute for this photo. I made a Polar Express one a while back of a, this is my niece and her family. Of my other niece <laughs> with Isabella and uh, this niece has two kids. But I only got the stickers for this. But I have plenty. And so if I have, get some other pictures <laughs> that are Polar Express, I'll be ready. No papers, just the uh, uh, stickers. And this background I forgot to mention is Pink Fresh from one of the Christmas collections. They have a lot of blue in their Christmas collections, and so it was the first thing I thought of to look for something blue to go in the background. I almost went with the snowflakes. However, they showed up a whole lot more than this plaid does, and I wanted to tone down the back just a little bit so my embellishments and stuff would show. But while I'm adding some greenery here and there, to the layout to fill in little spots. I want to mention that down there below, you will find the master link for the Christmas in September. And they, we do have a master link now, so there should end up being plenty of uh, Christmas layouts in there on that link. Plus, there is also a link for Scrap Timber. And there, I know there's a lot in there for that. And as I said, there's a prompt every day. One day there was a sketch to use, but um, the other days are all prompts. And this being Christmas, they, they scheduled it on the 25th so we could combine the two. So how cool is that? Um, here I am. Oh, I wanted to add a little more gold since the tickets were gold. And I used some garland. I believe the dyes were from Elizabeth Craft from a long time ago. And so they're just going to be a little bit on each side. And then I think I'm about done except for the sequins. And, well, they're not really sequins. They're that polymer clay. And there they are. And they're by K.S. Craft. And I just had the little peppermint things for the last couple of years and there was plenty in that bag however I ordered the newer one that they had and it has different things in there and then I mixed the two so I could have more than just the peppermint pieces on my layout plus some of those were smaller than the ones I originally had but there's my completed layout and I had a lot of fun making it and making that film strip using the old Tim Holtz one and yeah, it looks a little bit vintage on the edges. Of course, Polar Express makes you think vintage anyway. And there's the title where I layered the two alphas of Tim Holtz. Well, same alpha twice, black and red. And here's that adorable sign. Oh, I love that. Of course, I always love the signs if I run across them in a collection. And oh, and I forgot to mention that I used my white uh, gel pen and highlighted the Christmas tree lights. I forgot till I seen them just now. But yeah, they're all highlighted. I did it when I was taking the photos. There's the bell up there on the top and the believe is on the opposite side. <laughs> so they're both on there. But I hope you all take the time to check out the two playlists down there below and uh, get lots and lots of inspiration from the scrapbooking videos down there. And I want to also thank y'all for taking the time to watch mine today and join me while I created this layout. Hope y'all have a happy scrappy week. Bye!